Welcome back to the Let's Play Pokemon Silver with Payment Manual. Okay, so in the last video, we went through routes 19, 20, and 21. So, now, we're going to go through three different locations to do all the puzzles of Ruins of Alf and some extra stuff. So, we were just at Route 45 and went, went into the cave that's at the beginning of Route 45. Surf here. Some items around. I didn't get to get the other time I was in Jodo. Hmm, let's see. We got TM13. Nah, I still. I thought it was Ice Beam, but no, it's Snore. And that, that sucks. Ice Beam is way better. On most occasions. And <laughs> look, I'm on top of the entrance. That makes no sense. If you remember how we went, went in, it doesn't make sense at all. Whoa, you startled me there. I have my black glasses on, so I didn't notice you at all. What am I doing here? Hey, don't you worry about it. I'll give you a pair of black glasses. So forget you saw me, okay? Um, no, now I have a, a memento. <laughs> Black glasses up the power of dark type moves, yeah. <laughs> Shady son of a- No! Anyways. Hmm. Now, if you remember, um, this is around near the route where you head to Violet City. And this Krabby's, it's, you can find some other Pokemon, but, uh, you know, it's, it's Krabby. You don't want to see Krabby. Right, let's go this way for some items. I believe it was uh, another Krabby this time. <laughs> right for Krabby's. Set my repel back up. Found an elixir. And more rocks. <laughs> Uh, I insane Hyper Potion. Right. right. There's no items in the left path, so... Here we are, full heal. That marks all the items in that place. Now we're at Route 46. If you can tell, hopefully. But, yeah. Then we are in Route 32, because I forgot to roar. People uh, run when I roar. Oh, that's important. It gives you TMO5. Roar. <laughs> roar, it's a roar. You can Pokemon run from a good roar. Yeah. But, anyways, you just continue. I just continued the path back to Union Cave and head south all the way over here to a surfing spot. You were a trainer. Who's there? Leave me and my Pokemon alone. Okay, it's creepy. Okay, you tell me to leave and then you won the battle anyways. But yeah, all he has is two Marowax. Both at low level, you know. He is. You can just go here as soon as you have Surf. That's why they're that level. And I had, didn't go here when I got Surf, you know. I was busy, you know, playthroughing. I suck. I came all the way here to conduct my Pokemon research. Let me demonstrate my findings in a real battle. I really wouldn't care much. Calvin with his Kang is gone. Level 26. You demonstrated on me. Yeah. Whatever. Right. So I s swapped. So I switched up on my roster a bit. I think now I have to have Flojin on the lead. Elixir. It's just another area with more items. But here you can get um, Lapras on Fridays. So, 
Follow the, you get surf, you can, you know, catch a Lapras, I think level 25. That's awesome. I'm in training, okay, for a round. If you couldn't get enough of EV trainers back in Ecrotic City, well, here you go, another one. I'm with an EV in the first three evolutions. It's interesting to find this trainer again. I oh, don't know, you're too good for me. Right, but um, if the Pokemon I liked were there, I'd go anywhere. That's what a real trainer does. It, yeah, actually, absolutely. Except when you know they have like a 1% chance of showing up. That's, that's, that's a whole different story. <laughs> the world. Emma. I'd rather pet my battles than whatever. But yeah, Lapras will be in that area, so it's not Friday, so I can't do nothing about that. Really, I can't. And, yeah, let's be here. No, okay. Well, let's get that last item and battle that last trainer. Ah, item first. Hyper potion. Right, now nah, who are you? There are two kinds of people. Those who have style, and those who don't. What kind of person are you? I'm in between. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. A cool trainer. Ah yes, he's, he's the other trainer who has all three stars as well. And that was epic to battle Charmander again. Hmm. You've got Dazzling Style, huh? But yeah. So I surf back to this spot. So you know you can follow along with me. And won't get confused if I just immediately like teleport to where I need, need to go. You know, this is a playthrough, I'm not gonna confuse you. What do you know? A visitor. Now, if we continue this path, there was gonna be like two across in the road, both lead to where it, an unknown puzzle is. So, yeah, you do match up. Ah, you're. Oh, whatever. Yeah, but I'm going this path first, so it's been a while since I last saw another person. Don't be shy, let's battle. Oh, 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 no. I'm a hiker. With a sledgehammer type thing in my hand. Dude, dude. But yeah, they keep blowing up, so. <laughs> another dude, dude. Graveler also blew up. So I just kept digging, it's, you know. Erg, yeah. So yeah, I went this path. Just because I felt like it, I don't know. Hello. Hmm, this is a strange place. Yeah, I guess so. He has one of my favorite Pokemon, it's Giraffic. Giraffic is epic. Though it won't last a second in competitive play, but it's still awesome. Yeah, but um, here we can find some Natus and rarely some, or maybe uncommonly, some Smeargle. And it is the only, um, place we can catch Smeargle in the entire game. But first, you know, I decided to catch it out, like, yeah, why not? Says there. It usually forages for food on the ground, but may, on okay, rare occasions, hop onto branches to pick at shoots. Right. So here we catch a Smeargle now. For also for novelty purposes, because I won't use it. This is a dwarf. Once it becomes an adult, it has a tendency to let its comrades plant footprints on its back. Right. So now we go in here for the puzzle. Hmm. Here you read the Pokedex entry for it. A Pokemon that flew gracefully on rainbow colored wings. And that is obviously uh oh so... I'm just gonna skip some of it. You don't wanna see me do this. I always start with the corners first. It, it helps. Corners, it's... Corners helps. But... Hmm. Probably... It took me a while to figure it out. Uh, I'm not good with the whole puzzle at all. But there you are. Uh oh. 
Now, back when I was 10, the eyepiece, if you want to go back and pause it, to me that looked like a half of a smiling face. So I got really confused. But here we go, we're going through the second path now. Just need strength. And should be able to make it through no problem. Right. Here we are. Second one. Well, third. This is my third one doing so. This Pokemon drifted in the sea by twisting its ten tentacles. Now again, when I was around eight years old or ten or whatever, I thought this was a tentacle because, you know, the thing has like a, a gazillion tentacles. But no, it happened to be an Omanite. I was like, eh. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Really? You can barely see all those tentacles. And they're like tiny. But yeah, this is another one that's so, so hard for me. There's a strange presence here. Marking the... That tells you that the unknowns got released into the ruins of Alf. But if you want to get the last one or whatever order you decided to do it, then item over here now. Whatever, whatever. This is the last one for me, anyways. So let's see. This flying Pokemon attacked its prey with saw-like fangs. This here is Aerodactyl. Now, Kabuto and the Aerodactyl puzzles are the easiest for me because they just come to me like that. It's it's common sense to me. I mean, all the pieces are like easily recognized. So it's no problem, really. This is the last piece right here the tail. Part of the torso. There we go. Yeah, that's Aerodactyl. Oh, they don't bother you. And with that, all the unknowns have been released into the Ruins of Alf. So with that, I hope you liked this video. If you like, comment, rate, and subscribe as always. Uh, for now, P. Emmanuel signing off. Where in the next video, I'll be catching the Legendary Beast and Ho-Oh. Uh Stay tuned.